Welcome to Weasel Jaw Digital, and this is, I believe, part seven of the Star Wars Squadrons campaign. The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Their Starhawk flees before us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no yeah. time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard and their battleship will be erased from history. Our Empire has called us to serve. We cannot fail. Okay. Is that Shen back there? Must see. He's not at the table, so. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But, in order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. Okay. LT 514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrila. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, fly ahead of their fleet and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. <laughs> Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. Why would the Republic be tearing apart Star Destroyers for parts and then, like, leaving active reactor cores just floating around in space? Seems a little preposterous to me, but... I trust you see the wisdom in our strategy. Come now. Even damaged, the Rebel fleet still presents a legitimate threat. We can't simply attack it in the open. Too exposed. Exactly. Sabotage is the answer. We pick the fleet apart, thin their numbers, and leave the Starhawk right where we want it. Defenseless. Precisely. If all goes to plan, you and the rest of Titan Squadron will have a clear run at the Starhawk, Lyndon Javes, and Vanguard. Ah, oh, yes. Vanguard's squadron continues to be a vexing anomaly in my calculations. A problem you two are happily well positioned to correct. Good luck. I'll be monitoring you from here. Looks like they're putting me in a bomber, but I might be able to choose something else. Let's go talk to Gray and Von Reg. Von Reg looks worked up. I don't know how you can be so calm. I've never been more ready for a mission in my life. Good. Ride the adrenaline. But remember... Yes, Svarko, don't die. You said it a hundred times. None of us are replaceable. Actually, I was going to say I need you alive because if our plan works, there's a good chance we'll be fighting the Starhawk in the middle of a nebula. If that's how this ends, then I want that good old Von Reg fury covering our backs. We came so close at Nadiri, and they slipped through our fingers. Not again. Not today. Pace yourself. Make sure that fire's there when I need it. Can we just get started? Man, she is ticked off. All right. For this mission, you're authorized to fly a Thai bomber or a Thai reaper. Hmm.
thought you'd pick that. The Reaper has higher top speed, lower acceleration, lower maneuverability. But has some regenerative shields. Yeah. I want power on my side. Oh. I don't get to use the rotary though. Sounds like I'm gonna be fighting lots of bad guys. So I wanna switch this up a little bit. Man, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm not digging his secondary weapons either, so... I'll stick with the beam cannon, multi-lock missiles... I need Seeker Warheads for sure. Losing acceleration and maneuverability I think will be bad in this fight. Good Even choice. though I'd like more health. That's, that's one of the toughest decisions there. Because this thing gains like 1,500 health. 2,000 health. I mean, it's crazy. A 1,500 health gain. Putting you to 4,000. Acceleration I don't mind, but losing that much maneuverability hurts. Especially if I'm going to be dogfighting and stuff, so... I might, I might try it. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll take the health. This feels like it's going to be a long, drawn-out mission, so... Let's launch it. Okay, good. Got a support ship, because I feel like I'm going to need that. Man, that Starhawk looks rough. Overseer, Titan is outbound and advancing ahead of the enemy fleet. Excellent. Dismantle their fleet in the debris field. They'll die here or divert the Starhawk into the Ringali Nebula. They have a lot of CR-90s. Squadron, on me. We're approaching the junkyard now. This isn't just a junkyard, Varka. It's an Imperial Graveyard. How many different destroyers do you think they left out here? And what did the Republic do to their crews? Doesn't matter. We can't change what happened. All we can do now is deliver vengeance. Before we're done today, this will be a Rebel Graveyard too. Overseer, we've reached the target destination. The enemy is advancing as expected. You have time to prepare our trap. Copy that. Let's find those reactor cores. Remember, only active cores are explosive. And the rest are useless duds. Understood. Won't well, let me scan that one. Why not? Whatever. I don't got time to figure it out. Nice find, Titan 3. It's active. How exactly are we rigging these cores to explode? We're not. The active cores are volatile. It only takes a few shots to detonate them. So the rebels inadvertently created their own minefield. I love it. Yep, they did. Active core detected. That core isn't active, so it's useless to us. Destroy it and move on. The proximity sensors on active cores will alert us to enemies in range of our explosives. If you hear the alarm, a ship is inside the kill zone. That's when we attack the cores and... Oh, I missed one back here. It's 
a dud. It's time, Squadron. Enemy starfighters have entered your minefield. Affirmative overseer. Titan, engage and eliminate. Let's try not to blow up any of these things. Precision above all else, pilots. Souls right. Titan 3. Let's cut down these fighters. Okay. Good. Oh, more coming in. Much debris from my missiles. That wasn't good. Republic corvettes are on the approach. Then we need to pick up the pace. Textbook shooting. Come on. I'm in position. Okay. Fighters down. Like moose to the slaughter. Corvettes inbound. Regroup and be ready to strike. I could use a repair. Oh, throw me some. Rebel Corvettes inbound. Titan 3, when their ships are in range, detonate the cores. Follow me. Too close. Look at that. Crack shot, Titan Three. How are we doing? The strategy is working perfectly. Oh. You're welcome. You did your job. I'm in formation. Taking fire. Man, this is tough. The Starhawk will be all but defenseless by the time we're done with it. I don't like this system. I'm on your wing. It's such a weird system. Detonate the core now. I can't now. Come on. Watch behind. Enemies closing. Reloading. Let me reload. I need you to reload already. Faster, Titan. We cannot let the Corvettes cross this debris field. Let's get more aggressive then. I need to reload. Thank me later. Is there another bomb somewhere? Enemy in position. Detonate the core. Oh, well done, Titan 3. There's one more core. Oh, there's a couple more cores. Okay. I'm hit. Let me reload. I don't have time for you to reload. There. Now back in the fight. Sharp shooting. Wait for me to reload. Rebel ship is ready to die. Oh gosh. That sucked. That sucked. We'll 
Titan 3, scan more cores. We don't have much time to rearm our minefield. I'm on your wing. You're welcome. That's active. We're with you. Perfect. Oh. I thought that one wasn't active. We'll be ready for them. Titan 3, scan more cores. We don't have much time to rearm our minefield. It's active. That was that was bad. Active core. Careful, you're in the core's kill zone. That will do. I realize that now. I need more cores. I need a lot more cores. That one is active. Active. I trust you guys to take care of those for a little bit. Good find. Perfect. It's inactive. That's active. I need to get all these scanned. Oh, I think they just flew by it. Okay. Now we need to start worrying about fighters. You're too close to the core. there. Like one more. Got him. All X wings destroyed. Oh. The cores are safe. Another convoy of corvettes have arrived, Titan. Titan, regroup and prepare for the ambush. We are ready. Corvettes incoming. Do we have enough cores to take them out? <sighs> Let's hope so. They're in the blast zone, but I'm not close enough to put it off. away from that core. I think I'm gonna do it this time. I was too far away from that first core. I don't think there's enough cores out here to do anything anymore. Oh god. This is bad. Holy sit, this is bad. Enemy in position. Detonate the core. Focus 
this fire here. What the? How did that not? How did I suddenly just accelerate like that? This is not going well. Only one Corvette left. Finish it. Get him. Another Corvette burns. Let me reload. I don't got time for you to reload. We gotta. On a tail. I don't see the other. That just sucked. That just sucked. Corvette's incoming. Do we have enough cores to take them out? Wait better. Don't be too close when that detonates. Now you're clear. Blast the core. Now. Oh, see, I'm too far away from that one. I didn't see it. Cores on a single CR90. The there we go. But I chased him too long, and now guys are out of core zones. There's a lot more. Only one Corvette left. Finish it. Down you go. Can I let us escape the minefield? That's your time. I wish I had bombs now. Oh, Jimmy is not having a good day here. You can't blow up these stupid cores. Because you can't be in a position to blow up more than one. It's a weird layout for a mission. Take out the frigate. They underestimate Imperial superiority. Superior strength, superior ingenuity. True. They are not fools. The Starhawk couldn't cross this field without knowing what it was flying into. If the New Republic is willing to sacrifice this much, what does that tell you about the value of the Starhawk? That they're going to be devastated when we destroy it. I'm gonna fall in behind him. Shot that thing too early. There's a problem because I don't know if I got any more left. Detonated. 
Titan 3. Scan that core cluster to ensure it's active. Working on it. The rebels have no idea their frigate is heading straight to its doom. They must not have noticed these cores. They're desperate, so they got sloppy. Works for me. Active cores confirmed. This is our last chance, Titan 3. Sharp shooting. Holy cow. How dare they! the right moment. Enemy fighters on your tail. Stand by, reloading. The frigate's not down. Oh, okay, the frigate is down. Oh, man. That's an understatement. Overseer, what's the situation? Lucky I was here. Return to the Overseer for refueling. We have them right where we want them. The Starhawk is changing course. They're terrified of you, Titan Squadron. We've diverted the Rebels toward the Ringali Nebula. This is where Lyndon Javes and his wretched Starhawk will die. Well, they should be terrified of me. I took out 10 CR-90s, a couple dozen fighters. And a Nebula and B. You have forced the New Republic fleet, including the Starhawk, to divert into the Ringali Nebula. The Nebula interferes with sensors and communications, but the damaged Starhawk will be easy prey. So we completed the mission in under 17 minutes. Um, we destroyed two capital ships in 15 seconds or less, and we scanned all active cores. Did not complete it without dying, though. Even if I hadn't blown up that one, it wasn't going to be good. Can you talk? What's up, Q? Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. All right, let's get to the briefing room. No one else around here to talk to. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. Ouch. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. Luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the Nebula. Chief Mechanic Zerelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active commsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the commsats, but the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the commsats safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. 
from there, all we can do is wait and hope. Things are rough, but we got a plan to try to get some help. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary the starhawk project represents hope for an entire galaxy it's bigger than any of us i know you'd rather be defending the starhawk but i promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival good luck i know you won't let me down we'll get that broadcast hub up and running this will work Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people, you included, to make this happen. Sorry, not now. <laughs> I just listened to everything you said. Like, uh, can't talk now. Frisk, what's up? You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaking that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferrisk. Why don't you like hunting, Ferrisk? As soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. It had never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is... Whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home... We make it work. So yeah, things look bleak. But when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do. Especially with you around. And if we fail, we fail together. And no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. Ready to go when you are. So... So Frisk got really sweet there for a little bit, really sentimental. And then suddenly just throws you for a loop with a, ah, if we die, it won't matter. Listen, I know things seem tough, but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us. To Vanguard Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel, Vanguard, don't give in. Now let's go get them. I'm sorry, Gunny is still just absolute nightmare fuel. That's a terrifying face. Zrelda, you're involved in this mission. What's going on? You're in a U-wing, which is great news for me. No. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on the temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous. Scared, even. 
but I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there. I'm in a U-wing? Yuck. U-wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. The U-Wing Gunship. It's a support class, a sturdy gunship. The U-Wing Starfighter is a well-armed swing-wing vessel with support capabilities that make it dangerous against the Empire and vital for New Republic squadrons. I don't think I want the Ion Cannon. I can't kill anything, then. Do not have many choices there. Tactical shield and turret mines. Wonderful. Seeker warheads. I got shield, so I'll stick with standard hull. I think I'm going to stick with the standard shields. I wish I had the hull that made it harder for them to lock missiles, but... Yeah, I'll just stick standard everything else. God, did I even change anything? Changed my weapon from ions to standard laser cannon so I can actually participate. Well, let's launch this and see what I can do. U-wing is not what I wanted to be flying. I like having a, a support class in my squad. Absolutely. I don't like flying it. Okay, Vanguard. The broadcast hub is close. I hope it's still in one piece. Look what the nebula's done to that moon. I dread what it could do to our ships. Could be worse. We could be back in the Xavian Abyss. Or dead in the minefield. See? Zorelda gets it. Starhawk's under fire right now. There's our broadcast hub. Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're out here. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Keo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? <laughs> That's nice. She trusts us. Clearly hasn't watched close enough to see how bad of a pilot I am, but... That's besides the fact. Your 90s docked with the hub. Hey, looks like the broadcast hub works. It works, but the system is a wreck. I'm gonna need some time to get all the comm sets back online. Okay, so what can I do? Be quick. We have ties headed our way. I think the Empire's figured out what we're up to. Okay. Turret mines. You can deploy turret mines near a objective you want to defend. They will automatically fire lasers at nearby enemies until they run out of power. Hey, have a lock. Stop them. Oh, we gotta get it on his tail. Help out. Oh man, that's a lot of bombers coming in. I'm in 
station. Oh, there's more ties coming in. Where are the bombers? Uh oh, I let the bombers by. Attack that target. Ties are swarming the hub. Giving you an extra shield. I have a tail. Come on. Get on him. Get the rest of the ties. Then. Okay, fighters down. They'll be back with friends, no doubt. Good looking out, team. When you work together, it really is a sight to behold. You got that right. What's the situation, Zerelda? Got it. All comm sets are now active. Okay. Keep them safe. The more we have, the stronger our distress signal. Defend the comm sets. For the comm sets to strengthen our signal. Then I can broadcast our distress call to the New Republic. Gotcha. We'll keep the Empire away from the comm sets. Exactly. Because if we lose them all, we lose everything. You heard her. Keep the Empire off our comm sets. Okay, protect the comm sets. Got it. Roger, Roger. More ties headed our way. Where? They sent tie bombers. Oh, that's not good. There's the bombers. That's my primary targets. Don't let the Empire near the concept. Oh man, that's not working. On. Tactical shield deployed. <clears throat> Let's get the car. Nice. I keep bouncing off that rock. Too far away, I don't care about him. Comstar 1 still seems to be the focus. Where are they? Found them. You've got them. I'm with you. That one is in bad shape already. Someone's on me. You're okay. Nice one. Ooh. Enemy reinforcements inbound. Enemy interceptors incoming. Interceptors. Great shooting. Okay, we got a whole wall of ties coming in. Holy cow. Threw down a turret and a shield on that comms app. Ship just entered the area. 
What? Shoot it. Okay, we need to get this thing down. Signal good. Wow. <laughs> Their reinforcements are running scared. Looks like our work here is done. Reloading. Yes. Signals back at full strength. Ready with our Commander Javes. Yeah, let's call for help. Attention. This is Commander Javes calling from the Ringali Nebula, requesting emergency assistance. Thanks, Zerelda. We couldn't have done it without you. You're damn right. Commander James, we're regrouping with Zerelda and heading back to you. Okay. The Temperance is headed to the far side of the moon. We'll meet you there. Commander, where's the Starhawk? It was more badly damaged than we thought. General Sindula has evacuated all personnel to the Temperance. Uh oh. That's not good. We're gonna lose a Starhawk. We can't abandon it. We can lose our Starhawk prototype, but not the people who built it. Why is he in a pilot outfit? How boss? The Temperance has hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it, but don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. So Jeeves is going to hop in an X-Wing for us? Gonk. Friends, years ago the Rebellion welcomed me. Today... I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jurissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk. Maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Oh, he's not alone. Alone? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. Oh, we got your message. Anvil. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the force be with you. I wonder how long it's been since James has piloted a fighter. He's taking Anvil Squadron with him. Hey, look at that. That was better. Thanks to your efforts over Gallatin, communications have been restored. Commander Lyndon Javes and General Hera Sendula can call in reinforcements from the New Republic. Hopefully, they will arrive in time. Completed the mission without dying in 16 minutes or less. Did not allow any commsats to be destroyed. And destroyed the jammer in less than a minute. Ooh. Man, I must have been close on that one. <laughs> I didn't attack it straight out. <laughs> well, we, we did it. And I'm going to be switching back to the Imperials, Titan Squadron. There you are. Only person to talk to out here is Gray. What's up, Gray? When I was a police officer on Parkella, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or a slaver gang. People who were obviously guilty. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary. Deliver justice to the galaxy. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. 
But I come back. Time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. When wow, you're out there, really? never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. That was some scary fascist sentiment. I mean, I don't think the Nath, I don't think the the Empire are heroes here by any means, but that went hard line. All right, well, that's it for part seven. Um, we'll be bringing part eight to you pretty soon. And it sure as heck feels like uh, we're just about to wrap this up. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.